a roasty toasty welcome back to six ashes for episode 42 with me mr Sealy p still day one early spring the horse needs exercising i suddenly realized it got to 20 past five and i thought oh hang on a minute i forgot to do it um almost at full health again i think so when this one is healthy and fit we'll be able to uh, send it on its way that's like returning to its owner not you know glue or anything like that no. so um yeah i find this part very relaxing as well and it's it gets a little bit more of a chore if you've got multiple horses and having two wasn't too bad when you get up to four and you know some of the stables that will hold 16 horses if you're on console and you've got 16 horses that that lorry would have absolutely terrified that horse in real life but i've got it well trained so we haven't got to worry normally i just go around the paddock or i'll just trot off down one of my fields but i thought you know what i'm going to come out and go a little bit further um go up my little lane that i made and just get out and about in the countryside even if i can't in real life <laughs> how's everyone faring i hope everyone's faring okay it's it's a it's a weird old time isn't it i sometimes feel like i'm losing my mind you know it, it's it's hard and i think rules seem to be getting stricter they are on about at some point and again a lot of it is speculation and rumor and that kind of thing of only being allowed out once a day for a maximum of an hour or was it someone even said once a week so like, how can you only be allowed out once a week that would i would go mad take the dog out for a walk and that even people are getting clobbered because they're going too far away from home they shouldn't be going you know you should be walking around your local area it's a difficult time so things like this i just find quite relaxing i know it's not real but it just is what it is It's still day one, early spring. I'm going to get out and get my cultivating done, or at least some of it done if I can. Uh, I also decided with the wool, sheep now producing wool, I was going to bring the skid seed loader over from the horse stables, but I'm going to use the telehandler with my you know, collector. I was using the skid seed loader in here because I was initially storing all the wool in here. There wasn't enough room to turn it all around, but now I'm storing the wool in the larger barn. It just makes more sense to it here. I'm going to start on my two fields, actually I'm going to start on all my fields here, 21, 22 and then up to 16 and I'll head up and I'll do that withered field, is it 5? I'll get up and do that as well and then what I can do tomorrow in the light of day I will get out and we're going to fertilise them again but I'm going to use the digestate, I've got all that byproducts left at the biogas plant so I might as well use it, it just makes perfect sense, it's there so I'm going to hopefully get something to go on the back of the Zerion, which will all work out rather nice if it works properly. We'll see. So, cultivate all this in. I'm doing this because my, my planter, cedar planter, doesn't. it's not a direct drill. I could have bought a direct drill, but I didn't, so that's where we're at. Drop that down. I'll make sure I have to go right up to the edges and have to be a little bit more careful I think because I've missed a bit already but I can sort that out at the end now the temperature's not ready for, for planting yet but I might as well prepare my seed beds get everything done and ready to go I still get asked a lot why why do I not seed and fertilize at the same time I do it a lot on all my let's plays even when I've got cedars or planters that will fertilize at the same time because it would save me passes it's just a habit I've got into because I do a lot of contracting work on most maps I'm on and generally speaking what happens when you're doing contract work if you're doing fertilizing or you're doing sowing you actually don't gain anything if you sow and fertilize at the same time all you're doing is costing yourself money because you're putting seed down when you don't need to you know it, it just makes sense 
so I don't normally bother. If I've got a sewing machine that takes fertilizer, I just put seed in it. That way, for contract work, I don't get clobbered. Now, I could empty it, reload it, empty it, reload it. I've just got into the habit of when I've got spare time of prepping my fields before I even put any seeds in the ground, usually. Whether it's straight after harvest, I put some fertilizer down in whatever form, whether it's manure or slurry or digestate or uh, solid or liquid fertilizer. Then I will come over and plough it if it needs ploughing, lime it if it needs liming, cultivate it if it needs cultivating, and then stick a second load down, and then I'll seed. If it's seasonal work like this and it requires a third one, what I will often do after seeding or planting is done, I'll then come over and hit it again in its first growth stage, with especially using different fertiliser spreaders that can go out to kind of 45 metres, that kind of thing. They got a nice big reach on them. You can cover a lot of ground quickly. I don't know. I, I just, you know, yeah, it probably would save me time if I did it all in one pass, but I've just got into the habit of doing this, really, rightly or wrongly. I'm going to lose the light fairly soon. So, what I'll do is so I'll get these done. And then tomorrow we'll do a bit of digestate. I, I don't often spread digestate. I don't often do slurrying. Oh, as well, I've, I've also been told, just looking over there, that with seasonal work, poplars don't regrow. Well, that's another one of those strange peculiarities. Is that the same thing? Strange and peculiar? I guess it is, isn't it? It's a peculiarity with seasons. It's odd that in the base game, they will regrow, which in the real world they would do, I guess. You know, it would take a little bit longer, but they would regrow. And you can get, is it three harvests out of them? I'm trying to think, with poplars, something like that, isn't it? That with seasons on, you then can't anymore. I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll leave it a little bit longer. We'll go a bit further. I'm not saying I don't believe people, just for my own peace of mind and my own kind of testing. The problem I've got is, as always, being up an old man, I probably won't do a season's let's play for a few now because I've, I'm doing this one. The next time I come back around to seasons, I won't be able to remember. <laughs> I'll do poplars again and I'll be like, oh, hang on a minute, do they regrow or do they not regrow? I can't recall. And then I'll have the same thing, people going, oh, you've done them before, they don't, you know that. Well, I know that now. Will I remember that then? Mm. We'll see. Can't remember how wide this one is. What one have I got? Uh, garage. Is a 12 meter. I oh, saw it. Say, because there's that, that newer. It was that John Deere one, like the Crumbler, that's come out recently. I thought I could have used that, but it's only 12.6. It's not, I'm not going to gain very much. And I think folded up, it's wider than this is, so I might as well just stick with this. Okie dokie. I will see you either. There might, I might see you in a little while when I'm up doing my other fields, although it'll be quite dark by then. I want to cultivate in that withered crop. I'll build five, and then, think, 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 I'll see you in the morning, I guess. We'll get slurry and done, so these fields are prepped. Whoops, would help if I actually lowered it back down to the ground, wouldn't it? So I thought, well, that's going quickly, that's impressive. No. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Well, we're back. It's the morning, as you can see. 7.39 and rising. Air temp 2, ground temp 2. 
and I've got a field that needs to be cultivated in. I didn't get to it last night. It was just it got too dark too quickly. Uh, where did I get to last night? Well, I got fields 21, 22 and 16 cultivated. As you'll see, they're all green showing cultivated. This morning I whizzed over and I did field 51. That way I can get another fertilising onto it. But field 5 needs to be done. I'm seriously considering, because I've got a lot of grass here, I've increased my grass making potential, and the pasture here, and the cows. The cows are using it, but I don't know, if I don't move sheep up to there, I've got another grass field there. As to whether or not to like maybe cultivate in field 20 or 15 or 14 to have another crop field maybe. Or whether my grass potential is better. I'm not too sure what to do now. I'm just trying to work out how do I get to this field. I think I'm a bit further along. But it needs to be done. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to be spreading the digestate, which I said I was going to do. I think I'm going to lease the Kuwaiko, uh you know, the swan neck that goes with the Zerion. I think that's what I might do. Now, that's one of those ones that, whilst the digestate is free, and it has been suggested that I could sell the digestate, which I could do, and there was talk of potentially... No, hang on a minute, have I just passed the... I get to it from my farm, don't I? Of course I do. That's brilliant. Okay, let's turn around here. Unless I go through the woods. <laughs> there are tracks through the woods, but I don't know whether or not... Shall I? Yeah, let's go through the woods. Let's go a bit snow runner, shall we? Yeah, people suggested uh, about the... Um, there's a sell point for digestate and stuff. Which I could do. I bet there's a hedge though, isn't there? Hedge, edge... No, there's a fence. Of course there is. <laughs> I think I would have scouted this out ahead of time. I looked on the map and thought, oh, yeah, that's all right. That's how I get into it. But no, of course, it's around the farm. Oh, it just gives me more time to chat to you guys. That's that's a good thing. This was the um, area when I did my Land Rover trialing. GB messaged me and said, oh, have you checked out the, the woodland up over... Uh, field five because that's perfect for it and when I came up here in the Land Rover I was like oh man I should have done this first it's fantastic so yeah I, I mean I, there is a possibility of selling it so what I started off by saying was it's a bit of a false economy in that if you are going to do slurrying anyway and that's going to be your main thing you're buying your slurry and you've got a slurry spreader that selling stuff at the BGA is that double hit of you get paid for it plus you're getting the, the byproduct of digestate which is a free fertilizer the problem you've got is if you if you're not doing slurrying and you've got all that digestate i'm gonna have to lease a slurry spreader to spread it which then costs me money to fertilize when i've already got a fertilizer spreader with fertilizer in it so there is that kind of you know yes whilst it is a free product i am gonna have to lease a machine to do it but i want to because i want to use it and i you know i'll get rid of this stuff and I've got plenty of money in the bank. It's more about actually having a go with it than it is um, what it costs. I know that's not how you should be looking. For, as a business model, that's not the best way to go, is it? It's not about the money. It's about doing it. You know, I, I wouldn't last very long as an actual farmer, would I? Let's be honest. I'd get too excited about using the equipment and machinery and let's do a new crop, but we'll lose money. I don't care. Let's do it anyway. You know, that is not going to work, is it? Like I say, as a business model, not the best way around things. So, I've been having, I've been chatting, been chatting to Mrs. Sealy P this morning about the world in general and and things going on and how controversial the farm sim world is, isn't it? It's a funny old game, isn't it? And, I don't, and that's in both senses. That um, no, I want that down, that down. There we go in that various different things over the last 24 hours 48 hours have been happening in the farm sim world i don't usually get involved in all the controversies and things like that i try and stay clear of it and it's difficult <laughs> it, it really is difficult i was talking to mrs silly p this morning and and she you know we were saying you know she said you'd never believe that a game could cause such 
I don't know, frustration and, and anger and, and it, it's odd, isn't it, how it does that? That it, it becomes, especially in the current climate of how people are and, and people's mental health and where, where you may be and whether you're at work or furloughed or in lockdown or, you know, and a lot of us find ourselves stuck in the house far more than we ever have been before. That games like this, whatever a game it is you play, may not be farming simulator regularly, becomes far more important to you than you think it is or that possibly it should be maybe um, but anyway if you're not aware there's been a lot of hoo-ha with regards to I, I use that as a technical term for it hoo-ha with um, auction David and Giants regarding the release of Chellington uh, for console and it doesn't look like it's gonna be coming it was submitted and failed testing went back to Oxy and as far as I can tell there were a few issues with regards to licensed brands I think probably shop fronts things like that maybe around the map that he had to clean up and send back which he did but then I think he missed a couple and in the, one of the messages he posted was saying how many thousand objects there were on the map and like 1500 textures or a whole load of stuff and that he missed a couple when he resubmitted it well now I, I haven't seen the message from Giants but apparently he got a quite a rude message back from Giants saying that he was wasting their time they don't have time to keep testing people's maps because they're not checking them properly and that kind of thing um, and I think there was talk of him being stopped from uploading mods if it continued and that kind of thing now Ox and David along with a lot of people have been like among the original modders for the game these are guys that have been around since modding became a thing on the game and I would like to say that you can play this game without any mods and you can play it perfectly well you absolutely can the game itself is phenomenal it's a great platform for doing stuff and if, if you you know when you first start out trust me there's enough to get your head around with just what you get in the base game I totally understand that but the longevity of the game, what's, what keeps it going and has kept it going for such a long time is the modding aspect. And modders out there, now I know there's also that controversy, every time I do a mod review people say, oh it's just more of the same old crap all the time, we're getting all the same rubbish, we're getting all the same, you know, can't we have something new? Again I totally understand that, but without a lot of the mods and modders and stuff that, you know, you think about on FS15, on console, we had two maps. That was it, two maps. Uh, and then we got the gold edition, which gave us a third map, if I recall correctly. Three maps on FS15, that's all we had on console. So FS17, we got spoiled when we got mods, you know. FS19 has been even more bonkers than FS17 was, with the amount of mods, the amount of maps has far exceeded what we got on 17. And that's come from modders. You know, whether those maps be good, bad, or indifferent, you know, whether you like them, loathe them, everyone likes something different. The problem is, every time we lose, or you know, a good modder out there says, I'm not doing this anymore, the game loses something. And, in all honesty, with just the base game stuff, after a while, it can, and does, and will get a little bit boring. You, you do find, if you're using the same, you know, I tend to use some of the same stuff all the time, because there's certain bits of equipment I really love. But I get it, if you were on the same map all the time, you would get a little bit, okay, what do I do now? You know, you know, and often it's just a change of map. You're doing the same sorts of farming, you're doing all the same sorts of things. You might be changing your machinery, you might be changing your vehicles, but just changing the map can have a massive difference. In, in, you know, the style of play, the things you can do, you know, prices for things, what becomes your primary income, that can change with every single map. So I'm a little bit, I don't know, disappointed, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I'm, if, any, if any of you know me and have watched my videos for a long time, including my map tours and all that kind of thing, I'm, I try to avoid being controversial. I try to avoid getting involved in things like that. I don't like to upset people. I try to follow the middle ground and try to keep as many people at peace as I possibly can and probably that's a bad thing 
Oh, and again, talking to Mrs. Sidney P this morning, I was saying about mods coming out, and I've got some people that criticise me because I'm not harsh enough, because I, I should, if something's rubbish, I should say it's rubbish. That's not who I am. I find that very difficult to do. And then occasionally, when I have said something's not very good, I get slammed by people saying, you shouldn't have a go at modders, they're doing their best. So again, I'm in a situation you can't win. But we were discussing this morning, maybe I should be. Maybe I should become that. <laughs> Maybe more people would watch my map, my mod reviews if, if I was saying, I'm sorry, but this, this mod's rubbish, don't touch it with a barge pole kind of thing. I don't know. But the trouble is that doesn't sit well with me. So for me to even be discussing this, I know I'm, I'm still not even, I'm not being kind of, you know, oh, giants of this, giants that. I'm not being aggressive and angry and, you know, trying to cause a riot. But for me to even be discussing it means it's something I'm upset disappointed concerned about i don't know i don't know what's going on you know they've they announced yesterday as well the release of the new potato harvesting pack the grimmer potato harvest pack with pepe 978 i think it is it's going to be coming out on the 26th of january if you wasn't if you wasn't if you weren't aware of that that will be coming out on the 26th of january 13 or 14 new pieces 13 new pieces of machinery and a lizard belt system and this is where more controversy it's not quite a rant but you know it's not far off it's rubbish and that's no disrespect to Pepe 978 but seriously I do wonder sometimes whether Giants pay attention to their gamers because potatoes for me it's one of those things I do on a let's play I've done big potato harvests so I've done all sorts of stuff and I try to use different equipment on different let's plays depending on what I'm doing I don't think I've done potatoes on here yet have I no and what people have been clamoring for for a long time is bigger potato machinery stuff that you can do potato harvesting faster with um, because potatoes they yield very high the same as sugar beet do and the sugar beet harvesters are a bit bigger than potato ones and the potato stuff we've got at the moment is kind of lacking somewhat and also planting them takes a while because the cedars aren't that big the new pack coming out, if you go onto the Farming Simulator website and have a look, because it's on there, so it's showing what you get, it's all tiny stuff. It's all stuff that it puts the, sh the potatoes on the ground. There's a potato windrower, so then you come along later on and collect them. As much as the stuff looks incredibly detailed and looks great, and it'll probably fun be fun to use to try it out, and will I look at it when it comes out and do a kind of mod review? Yeah, of course I will. But I don't think it's what people want. <laughs> I think people wanted bigger potato machinery. They wanted a bigger harvester with a bigger header. And the stuff does exist, because when I was at Agritechnica, I saw it. Grimmer makes some massive stuff. There are other companies out there that make some really big potato harvesting gear. So, I don't know. It's all a bit weird. I don't know what's going on at the moment. The world's gone a bit mad. Let me know what you think. Stick it in the comments. How do you feel about it? What, you know, what... Uh, I don't know. There will be a mix of people saying, stop complaining, you should be grateful. And I am, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. You know, I, I love the game. You know, I think it's brilliant. I wouldn't be making videos on it. I, I absolutely love farming. I love all the aspects of it. I'm just questioning, you know, what's happening. And this comes off the back of what I was saying the other day about what direction is it headed in. Are we just going to go down the route now of every now and again getting a DLC that comes out and every now and again getting a major update for the game but not actually getting a new version of it maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, just let me know. What, how, you know, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about it? It is a bit worrying at the moment. But anyway, that said, I've nearly cultivated in the entire crop here, which means what I can do is go and grab the slurry, well, digestate spreader. I'm pretty sure the standard Kueko spreads at 30 without any attachments, but you can put attachments on it. I'm sure it's got, um, yeah, I'm sure it's got a splash deck, like spray plate on it already. We'll have a look at that. We'll go and get some digestate and let's get some digestate on the fields. Sorry I've kept you for so long. <laughs> Just wanted to get it off my chest.
In my drive over, I <laughs> have been considering my subversive utterings. Not that anyone from Giants watches my videos, but I'm just wondering whether the uh, Giants Inquisition will turn up at my door. <laughs> whether I'll get in trouble. I shouldn't do it. It wasn't anything bad. And let's be honest, the, the best thing for these sorts of situations is a healthy discussion. Not arguments, not shouting and yelling. Debate. Discussion talk it out if people aren't prepared to listen they're narrow-minded be open-minded you know be open to discussion and ideas and you know i would like to think now i had a right old game with this thing this is the zerion well i thought i had the zerion 3800 i didn't i had the zerion 32 or 30 I only had 330 horsepower, I thought I had 379, I didn't. So I've just upgraded that, so I've now got 379 horsepower. This, the Kuwaiko... <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> swan neck, tandem swan neck, yeah, could be. I think that's produced, manufactured by Smetty, I think. I got the one that said, compatible 3800, wouldn't connect at all. So I changed over, I've, at the moment I've got Track VC, so I've got the cab that will rotate. I went into customization, put it on Track on its own, wouldn't connect. That's when I thought, oh, it says it's compatible with the 3800, and I realised I didn't have the 3800, so I upgraded. Look at the state of it, this needs a serious new paint job. I've got a few hours on this now, and oh, look, all the paint's coming off. Uh, it still wouldn't connect, so I went back in and I got the one that just said standard connector and then it hooked up no problem at all, so I've had to lease that twice. <laughs> so that whole kind of thing I said earlier on about um, false economies, yeah. Now, it does have a splash plate on the back, as you can see there, so the slurry jets out, hits that plate there and goes whoosh either side, or it's got a three-point link on there so you can put you know various different drag hoses and injectors and all those kind of things if you want to I, th I think now this should I'll tell you what selling all that um stuff in the biogas plant 614,000 litres I didn't think we'd have anywhere near that this will last a bit longer than I thought then I thought there's no way we'll get all our fields done with what we've got in it the only downside to this is we have to do a bit of backwards and forwards And in all honesty, selling the digestate here, it took a while, but not as long as I thought it would. Compared to Eureka Farms, when I think I emptied a two million litre bunker silo in about mm, 10 minutes. <laughs> but then that said, that wasn't going into the, the digesters. That was just being unloaded to be put into storage. So 30,000 litres, we're going to head to... Oh, field 21 and 22 first, I think. I'm going to put my beacons on. Controversial, that may be. Depends where you are in the world. I know I have had people posting and, and actually putting what the the legal definition, the actual, you know, what it says in the in the rule book with regard to when you can and can't use beacons and that kind of thing. If I'm breaking the law, so be it. I'm in that kind of mood today, it would appear. I am Mr. Sealy P's evil twin. The same evil twin that's doing work on Eureka Farms. I've wah, see what I mean. Thrown off the shackles of oppression and conformity and normality, and said, "You know what? I have really. I, I, that's not me at all." We haven't got to go very far on the main road, but.
just so everyone's aware, look, there's a maniac in a Zerion. Just be warned. And now on the side road, I can turn them off. And I remember to turn off my indicator this time as well. I wasn't in complete old man mode, which is oh, this nice. But again, that's no, that's a, that's a generalisation, that's no slur on any old men out there that may be watching who have never left their indicator on for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. Mrs. Silly Peas have a good old chuckle in the front room. <laughs> Doesn't take too long to get here, really. Whether I'll be able to make the turn into the fields or not. Who knows? Egg production is off the chain again. I think I've filled all five egg boxes I've got on the left-hand side of the road. So I've got two just regular boxes sitting on the floor. So the cartons are all full. My Foo Farmer cartons. And then I think the one in there has barely scratched the surface. As far as animals go, we are currently sitting on 231 pigs. So we've had another 11. Sheep are up to 77, we're doing well, um, and our dairy farm, they are, you know, moving closer and closer towards, that one says next animal in 0 0.8 years, oh, the front's going, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, yeah, all is going well, I still haven't decided whether I'm not going to get any more meat animals. Oh, see, my sheep have gone all weird again, look. I haven't had any problems here um, with the wool bandits that Oak Hill seems to have. We seem to be okay now. Is this going to work? That's not 30 metres, is it? Not even close to 30 metres. That's weird. Why is it saying the thing when you buy it 30 metres? I mean, with there are various different attachments that can go on the back and go out to about 36. So... I'm not sure that's odd, isn't it? Oh, it's going down. That, that's the main thing. This will be left to soak in and do its thing. I like this, it's a nice looking rig. I know I mentioned it before when it came out when I was at Agrotechnica, and I know I'd keep mentioning that, but it's still one of those kind of feather in my cap. I was so happy that I got to go, and it was amazing. Um, when I saw these, they have so many different set setups and attachments that go with the, uh, the swan neck thing. I think it's a brilliant setup and system. We are going to get through this at a silly rate. We've used half the tank already and we haven't even been around the field once. That's worrying. But you can see there's that lovely that lovely slurry glisten you get on a field. We have got it, which is good. I'm gonna go back and get some more. So what I'll probably do is this field, the field opposite, go up and do field 16. As you've already seen, I have cultivated field 14 in, so the grass has been done. You can use grass as a cover crop. I know we've got oilseed radish, but grass is a good one for a cover crop because you can um, cut it, use the grass, and then cultivate it in straight away. So as a cover crop, grass works really well if you want to go down that route. That's better. I missed that bit right at the very start. I went a little bit further out. To the further bit. Again, this is one of those kind of full... I'm driving all the way out here to do it, thinking, oh, I'll do the further bit first, then I've got to go all the way back out there to do it. I've just done that anyway, but... We'll get them all done. I'll use up probably all of the slurry. And I guess all it's cost me is the lease of the, the trailer, which, had I not got the wrong one the first time, 
but this cost me about four grand I think it was so if I've got enough digestate there to do all my fields then it's cost me four grand to, to um, fertilize all of my fields available which is not a bad price you know on any given map four grand for, for doing multiple fields that's all right on this one because I can get my fertilizer my, my spreadable solid fertilizer cheap anyway you know again it, you can do the maths on it and work it all out and points can be argued either way but I just wanted to use it because I think that looks really cool <laughs> no other reason than that really that looks really cool I just realised as I keep having these I say things and then as I'm doing something else I think oh I just realised how very British but whoa what happened there that wasn't good yeah, how very British. Bordering on Canadian, I was uh, behaving. <laughs> I did the whole throwing off the shackles of oppression and then apologising and then picking them up and putting them somewhere neatly. You know, it's that. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Sorry for my outburst. I do apologise. You know, how very British. Anyway, it's been a weird one today, isn't it? I mean, I can even I can even feel that. I can sense that. If this is the last video I ever produce because the uh, Giants Inquisition comes and gets me, um, I hope you've enjoyed everything I've done. If not, I'll see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always. Thanks for watching.